Hi, this is Nick Wichman from the Portland Electro Pop Band, Ask You and Gray. I'm gonna show you today, really as quickly as possible, how to uh, use Ableton and Chave Show Express along with your Mac's internal MIDI port to uh, create synchronized um, DMX lighting for your shows. Um, we use a lot of Ableton Live in our uh, performance shows, so creating an, uh, a MIDI-controlled um, synced uh, DMX solution was definitely what we wanted. So we're going to show you how to do that. First, you need, you need a couple things. One, you need Ableton Live. Uh, two, you need to download the free Chave Show Express software. Um, go to their website. And three, you need to buy... Um, some sort of DMX uh, USB um, converter or, or, or adapter. Uh, we use the Express 512 um, from Chave. It's about 400 bucks or something like that, but you can sometimes find something cheaper. Um, and aside from that, all you need is some lights, which behind me you can see we have four uh, Chave Slimpar um, 64s that we use, and they are bright, super bright. So uh, we have more that we're, we're building up our, our, light, uh, our light shows, but that's what you need to get started. So uh, I'm gonna get right into it. To get started, we're gonna jump into uh, my Ableton file for our shows. On the left here, you see DMX lighting, and then we have all of our audio files split into uh, two different um, outputs for, for each file, for each backtrack. Um, the, the files on the left are all MIDI tracks that are that have no audio output. They just are porting to Show Express, and there's an example of that. I'm going to show you what you need to do to get started. First, we're going to have to go to the audio MIDI setup in the Mac's uh, system preferences or, or just a spotlight. Search that. Um, show MIDI window. That's what you're going to need to do. It'll pull up this screen with all the MIDI uh, the MIDI. Uh, elements in your system. Um, I've got the a Profire 610, we have an X50, a uh, couple other things, but what you're gonna need is this IAC driver. IAC driver is the, uh, the internal MIDI port um, that's built into Mac. Um, here's all the settings on mine. The port down here, I renamed mine from Logic because originally we were trying to play our shows with Logic Pro, but um, that kept crashing, so we've changed it to Ableton. But you can name your port whatever you want. And once that's all set up, your MIDI is, is good to go. So you've opened a port within the system for uh, Ableton to send to. Next, you're going to want to go to Ableton, um, create a MIDI, a MIDI track. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start a new empty MIDI region on, on this right here. Oh, dear, what's going on? I think my system's having a little issue with recording the screen stuff. Um, but on this track, essentially all that we are going to need to do is adjust the outs. So on here, MIDI from, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, this MIDI track should have no inputs. So select no input. The MIDI to, you're going to want to send it to your IAC driver. Um, and the configuration on that in um, Ableton is right here. The output IAC driver from Logic, or our mine is called from Logic. You can name yours whatever that, whatever you want. Um, the track is on. MIDI clock type is the song, and this is how I have mine set up with no other control services or anything like that. From here, you now have a channel sending to that port, which which you will control the lights with. You're going to go into your Chave Show Express, which you can download. This is the latest one that just came out um, fairly recently. You're going to go into your live setup. Um, before you get into here, you are going to have to set up the lights you're using. You're going to have to set up uh, your different commands. Um, I'm actually going to provide my show. I'm going to export it and let you download it. If you haven't had much experience in Show Express, you can look at mine. Um, but I set up my control boards and buttons in this way. It might not be the most effective or most, most efficient for you, but for me, it seems to be 
uh, really reliable and efficient. So I have three boards open within Show Express. I created a dimmers board, a colors board, and a shutter board. We're only using these lights behind me, which are uh, wash, wash par, uh, slim par lights. So um, all that we need is color and light, and then uh, shutter controls the strobe. And each one of these is different variables on our four um, lights, and then all colors, as well as variables on the four lights, and then uh, a couple um, fades and uh, fast um, color changes. And again, I'm going to let you download this. I'll put a link in the down below in the video, the details. So now in here, when once you uh, create your lights and you create your um, your light effects within Show Express. Uh, there's a lot of tutorials online. Um, you can search for those. I'm just going to show you how to port the MIDI controls to control this. So you're going to take one of these buttons in your boards, go into the button trigger. You're going to see a couple settings: the keyboard, the date and time, the MIDI, the DMX. You can do all. You can control this button um, by a bunch of different methods, but we're only using the MIDI um, within your. Um, your created IAC port on your Mac, um, you're going to be using channel one and then a note. You can, and you can use control or program, but uh, we're going to use the note and then the data is which note um, within your MIDI track or which note you're actually hitting. So 11 within uh, Ableton's MIDI, MIDI setup, um, 11 means it's 11. Um, 11 notes from the bottom of this MIDI track. So if we go into one of our, one of my uh, already created files, which I think I'm gonna also um, give you a, uh, one, of my, one of my MIDI tracks here, so you can actually play around and get it to show up maybe in your 3D um, show setup through Show Express, or if you have lights, it, um, it could work there too. So here's my setup. The very bottom, which is C negative two, that's uh, that's going to be um, MIDI channel one, note one. So it goes from the bottom up for mine, and uh, and then from there, I I just made each one a consecutive number. So so setting up these buttons would be in some sort of order. And what that does is that allows you to then draw in your tracks. You're going to always want to have two buttons pressed at any time. One would open the dimmer, which really turns on that light. So here, um, dimmer low, let's say, or dimmer all on. I named these. You can name them whatever you want. And the other side, the color, all white. So if you open your dimmer, it pretty much allows the light to uh, emit, emit a, a light through it and then a color chooses what you're going to send through and then the shutter will flap flap uh, a digital shutter on the LEDs to strobe. Another thing to note is that on each one of these buttons choose the flash button. So when you press it, it's on. When you let go, it's off. Otherwise it is pressed to turn on, pressed to turn off. And when you're writing your mini note, MIDI notes, you're going to have to do two notes for each one. It is terrible. It is a terrible mistake. Don't don't make that mistake. I made that mistake. Um, cool. So uh, your your Chave Show Express live boards should be sending to that to that MIDI channel with different numbers um, for each note, and then your Ableton should be, or I'm sorry, Show Express will be receiving those notes um, through the. MIDI channel one, which is going to be pulled from your IAC driver named whatever you want. Mine's called from Logic again. So from from Ableton, we'll send these signals, and it'll be picked up into Show Express. So I'm going to play. Uh, I'm just going to play this song so we can kind of see what it looks like. So there's audio playing, and the lights are, are going. You can see my show. And that's that.
Um, it seems a little complex, but I assure you, once you get these set up and you start playing with Show Express, things will come together pretty quickly. Um, you get used to this method of uh, button selection and, and MIDI, MIDI calling from Ableton. You get used to it pretty quick, so uh, once you get this groundwork set up for your lights, depending on what those are, um, the MIDI the MIDI writing will, will start going faster and faster for each song, and, uh, and that's definitely one of my favorite parts of, of preparing for our shows, is setting up the lights. Um, I would not, I, I don't necessarily like the timeline um, in Show Express. I think it's it's a little clunky and, and not very uh, flexible, um, but but this method with, with MIDI is definitely super, super fun. And, and once you get set up, it's, it's good to go. Um, all these settings save, like your IAC driver can be left on all the time. Uh, it's, it's not a, any issue that you have to actually turn off or anything like that. Your live setup, as long as your MIDI track on, over here, as long as this MIDI track is still sending MIDI to the IAC driver, you don't, as long as it's sending there, um, your live, your Chauvet live setup will um, continue to work. So uh, give it a try. Um, please feel free to ask me any questions you have. Um, again, I'm Nick from Ask You and Gray in Portland. Um, we are an electro pop band, and if you are in the area, I'd like to hang out, uh, grab a beer, uh, talk about lights, talk about music, or come to one of our shows. Please do. Um, Cool. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm out.